hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do another scenario editor tutorial so maybe you have already played the new campaigns and noticed that their uh, objectives are being displayed in the top right corner of the screen which is really helping you with keeping oversight over things this is a very very useful feature and it offers you some possibilities which I quite need to discover, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. Let's get to this trigger section, just three triggers. This one, I just set up a, a variable, name it sacrifices, set it to zero, so just initialized it. Here, I put a few relics in, in this monastery, but that's not really all that interesting. Then there is a sacrifice trigger here, and in this case, I'm uh, as soon as I send 10 units to this uh, temple to sacrifice them, then uh, they just vanish. And uh, every time I sacrifice a unit, the sacrifices variable gets uh, increased by one. And then teleported and removed. You need to teleport and remove things instead of just removing, because this way you make sure that with each iteration you're only deleting a single unit. I already talked about this in a previous tutorial. And finally, here is the age up variable, which, which as soon as there's 10 or more sacrifices, researches a uh, castle age for player one and also displays that the gods are pleased. And now to the objectives. So you want to use the short description. Uh, the trigger description will show in the objectives as far as I'm informed. And the short description is that what appears in the top right corner. And you can not only display text there, but you can also display variable and resources, which is very interesting. So in this case, um, I display the sacrifice units, the amount of sacrifice units, the amount of relics you captured, and the amount of gold you accumulated. So for a variable, you just use smaller name of the variable and bigger than. That's fairly easy. Then for the resources, you will use well, also smaller and bigger. But after the name of that uh, resource, you will also uh, well, put a comma, a space, and then the player number. In this case, both are player one, because I want to show the relics of player one and the gold of player one. Now, um, how you want to... Uh, now, how the resources are called, you want to uh, actually target here. It's fairly easy to find that out. So you just create a new effect. And then, for example, go to modify resource. And there will be a comprehensive list of all of the resources. So in this case, I used uh, gold total. You could also use gold storage, which is the current gold uh, you have. But they're just all sorts of things. Also some fairly interesting ones like kill value, raise value, and all those other things. Okay, but I'm um, just going to delete this right now and show you how this looks in game. There we go. So with the trigger I spawned five relics into this monastery. You see here we have captured five relics and I can relate it some gold so now if I for example remove one of the and garrison one of the relics here it is now it tells me I captured four relics so it always updates which is very nice and now let's sacrifice some units over here here we go one two units sacrificed and then it will count up to ten because there are ten units here there we go the gods are pleased I'm castle age and well now if I create a monk here you will see it will not decrease the accumulated gold so this time becomes your total gold so if you want to um, track the current gold I mean you already have that here but you can both see um, the current gold and the total gold which is nice so I think um, yeah this is all I wanted to show you today a fairly short tutorial once again but uh, there are quite uh, some quite interesting implications and this just 
makes your scenarios a whole lot more accessible if you can display the variables the resources here for example you can track the kills for a player or something like that all of that can be put into the objective section here okay i hope this video could be useful to you uh, if you have any further questions or suggestions be sure to leave a comment under it and yeah thanks for watching see you next time this has been alcohol goodbye